right now because okay we landed in the morning and we our hotel room wasn't ready but actually the check-in time is at three so i'm really tired but we're latching on to the uk schedule i try not to look at the us time so much because i feel like that makes me like sleepy and tired i'm like half awake but <laughs> We're gonna get there. We're gonna do it. He came with the bathroom. That reminds me of kind of like a Japanese style with all like this wood and the light textures and the monochrome colors. Like I love this. It's so peaceful. Two check-in bags. Callum brought one check-in bag, one carry-on each. I love this hallway because there is a lot of closet room. So this is the entrance. Mine's it very Japanese, right? Like onsen style. I'm not even sure how many coffees I've had at this point. I still feel really exhausted. Oh my lord, this latte is so good. Oh my god, it's so good. We are finally ready to go out right now. It's 6 p.m. But the sun sets at 9 p.m. here. So we're gonna go out right now, explore, see what's popping in this area. I looked at the map to see where we were relatively, and I think that we are, we're like in between Chelsea and Mayfair. I'm really like right to Hyde Park. It's super cute, so let's go. Danger, and then we Can would go down. <laughs> what? Can you hold my gum? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want a litter bug. But I haven't seen a trash can yet. Did I? Anybody out there wondering what it's like to be married? This is it. <laughs> this is the epitome of being married. That's right. Don't litter. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Look at it. Look at gum boys. I'm having a moment <laughs> about how beautiful this is, and then it just followed up with "Take my gum." <laughs> Oh my god, guys, we're so jet lagged. We had dinner with our friend Edward at this restaurant called The Noble Rot. The food was absolutely delicious, but we were so sleepy. I swear I was like falling asleep at the table. I was barely keeping it together. So excited to sleep. We're getting ready for bed right now, and. Uh... Well, you're not in it. Naked boy. Okay, so you guys saw my entire skincare layout game gang and with everything that i packed i forgot to pack my face wash luckily this hotel has a pretty good brand so i've been using their shower gel as face wash but tomorrow i have to go buy one they don't have a sephora here which like i feel like i've already said that like 10 times since i've came i find that shocking <laughs> um and i also forgot my mouth guard and i grind my teeth at night and i'm hoping that Callum was saying i was like Hopefully I don't grind in London, but I think tomorrow I'm just gonna have to go out and also just get like a generic grinder. So, I'm sorry, Jaws. Okay, gotta switch the angle. Mr. Naked is gonna come out. So tomorrow is Saturday, Sunday, which is nice because we have the day free because come Monday, Kellen's got meetings and then I'm gonna visit the Farfetch London HQ, which I'm really excited about. I think we're tomorrow. Our itinerary is probably just exploring different pockets of London. Oh my God, look how beautiful this room is. We have a little terrace outside. Uh, Mirakami art. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Is this open? Just make sure it's open. Wow. Look at this view. What's that? Morning. We slept. I slept. Helen woke up a little bit earlier than me, but basically I slept for 12 whole hours. If I get eight hours of sleep, like I feel good, like I mentally feel good. But today we're like, you know what? Let's just listen to our bodies. We feel really good. Willie, Willie, 
really well rested and i'm just like so happy and grateful to be back in london because it's just one of my favorite cities i feel like i say this every time i'm here but basically when i was at usc i studied abroad at london for i think like six seven months and i feel like that was a big eye-opening six months of my life because that was the first time i was away from home at the time i lived in irvine went to school at usc so i was just an hour away but i feel like this is the first time that i was away from home on my own you know on a budget and i was like traveling with my best friend a heidi which we're still best friends now which is amazing i'll show some photos from facebook it's so cute where's my coffee though every weekend we would go somewhere because i feel like once you're in the uk it's so easy getting around to europe i think it was so valuable and so beautiful to be able to travel at that age and experience so much because at that time i was still under 21 being able to see so much of the world so yeah with that because i long-winded of answer london is such a sentimental place for me i'm so grateful to be back here because i'm back with kellen we're staying in this beautiful location and it just feels full circle and I feel grateful. Which is literally a dream and the weather so far, hopefully it will stay this way, has been beautiful. Our little sitting area because this trip, luckily today is the weekend so Kel and I are going to spend it together. But also this trip is half work, half pleasure. So he's going to need to do his meetings and stuff here. And then it also has a really beautiful bathroom um, which Kellen is currently in. pet peeve of mine when things have wrinkles and they sent up that steamer which I'm absolutely obsessed with because it has this attached hanger and it's next level. I didn't bring my steamer because I feel like whenever I've bought in different countries it the power has blown out. Okay let's try this on. So I'm wearing this really cute blazer with these feather sleeves from House of CB and I feel like for sizing if anyone has shopped on there I feel like typically I wear an X small in most brands for House of CB their X small is so freaking tiny like I brought the pants it doesn't even I can't even zip it up so house of CB I feel like people need to size up or either I've just eaten too much already here look at these cute sleeves it's strategic I wore these stretchy pants because I just know I'm gonna eat a lot came to this place called Mayfair Chippy. Our friend Edward that lives here recommended it to us. And we're eating fish and chips, which like, I've been in London many times, so I think I've only eaten it once. So this is my second time, and then Helen's first time. Fish and chippo. Chips. this morning when we left these flowers weren't in bloom and we came back and they're fully bloomed so we spent the entire day out and we went to pretty much like all the really major department stores and we were talking about like how the retail experience is so different here like all these places are popping and they're so beautifully built out so we went to selfridges liberty which is like iconic i forget when it was exactly built but something in the 18 i think it's like 1875 which is wild when I travel, when I look need recommendations, if I remember someone had made a city guide, I'll kind of refer back to it. Or else what I like to do is anything that I've ever seen and saved. I just look up like Condé Nast or like Forbes London City Guide. There's also some on Goop that are like really well curated. Everything's been really delicious here though. I feel like all the ingredients have been really, really fresh. So we're gonna go to dinner right now and I really wanna wear this dress. It's this super cute feather dress but at the same time i feel like if i wear it i'm gonna be so uncomfortable a lot of sets this top is cool too this top is from this brand called nadine marabi and it has this super super long train <laughs> we have breaking news folks i'm no longer an asshole <laughs> i got like that far the bottom to the bottom okay I can't even breathe on this. And yet, you were gonna wear it to dinner. Put it out for the 
day. I feel like honestly this look, I might match a waiter. But it's so cute. ass boots i wanted to wear them today but today is a walk heavy day so we are changing into sneakers we are headed out okay the weather literally so good you really can't predict it but the sun has been going in and out which we're really really grateful for because you know london is known for its gloom so we just went to afternoon high tea this morning both of us were feeling like eh afterwards so we came back kind of like freshened up a little he did an outfit change <laughs> We got both our coats on and now we are heading out for a little museum day situation. So we are going to the National Gallery and then going to the Tate Modern. Mm -hmm. So let's head out. <laughs> the National Gallery. It's your turn. <laughs> National Gallery. Martins Street. Martin Street. Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton! <laughs> the jubilee it's a platinum jubilee we happen to be in town for that so it's quite chaotic came in for this close off the roads we're walking everywhere taking the two London. Okay. You think there's an old school espresso spot here for your boy? Can your boy get some coffee? <laughs> We've been drinking coffee at 5 p.m. trying to act like we're on the time zone. I know. <laughs> I've been drinking so much coffee here. Okay, everybody. Now that we got some alone time. What? What? It's coming so close. Look at so close. Tate Modern. We were thinking about walking over to the London Bridge, but I feel like we got a good view of it, even though we're a few bridges away. And we are super hungry, so we're actually going to our reservation early, hoping we can get we seated will. or like a snack or something. We'll get it. Hungry girls. We just ordered this, and it says for two people. We're like, what? We really just took that down. This smells so good. Affogato, got a decaf. Kill and save me because it's literally 7 p.m. right now, and I was gonna almost ask for normal coffee. Oh, girl. and we got this. That's tiramisu. the savior tax. <laughs> tiramisu. I feel like whenever tiramisu comes in a cup, that has a good sign. Okay. This place is really like a hole in the wall. It's so delicious. Mm. Clean. The service here is so good. We just came back to our room. We had this recovery sleep lavender spray by our bed. And then also we told we told them that Kel and I don't drink and they had left champagne in the room. So they took that and left this in our room instead. <laughs> See you in space. Interstellar. <laughs> Make the astronauts up. <laughs> <laughs> so right now it is a little past eight o'clock and look how bright it is outside it looks like it's like six or five i love it the days just seem so much longer we just got back to the room and it's eight o'clock right now and we are going to 
chill and decompress because the past two days i feel like we've been coming home like our dinner we've been going out for dinner at 9 at 9 p.m and then tomorrow is monday so Kellen is taking a lot of meetings and work and then tomorrow morning we're going to the farfetch hq together so we're gonna rest and relax take a bath go to sleep early wake up early yeah might eat a second dinner we probably will <laughs> okay i'm so full i was wearing a coat under the coat i literally was walking around like this because it's 8 20 right now and we are back in the room also looks like i am either a waiter or security it is what it is what i really look forward to is taking off this tight bun like i love me a slick back bun i feel like that has been my go-to look right now but i put a lot of product in it to achieve this slick back look and i tie my hair so insanely tight guys and one of the best parts is just taking this out at the end of the day because holy shit, like literally it pulls like just the back of my scalp. And honestly, there was a point like when I was younger where I would pull too hard and I feel like there was like a little, like a bald spot. I was like pulling out my hair. I grew back though, luckily. But I'm back to tying my hair really, really freaking tight. So let's get all these off. It's like taking your bra off at the end of the day, but actually that no longer bothers me as much. And I use a three freaking hair ties. It stays like this because there's so much product in my hair. So I need to wash my hair. Literally, it just stays like this. Take off this tie. I honestly don't know how to tie a tie, so Cal and tie for me this morning. Okay, and I also do have to shout out Skims because they literally have the most comfortable pieces. Like I wore like a mock neck turtleneck and I wore that on my flight. It was cute and comfy. It was from the Cotton Collection. And this is their bra from their Cotton Collection too. And like the fit and the comfort is everything. Spending time in London has been so nice. And then just also like being able to experience it with Kellen. The reason that we actually ended up picking London and Paris, initially I wanted to do something in like South of France. But the thing is like I get really kind of bored really fast in those kind of places like i feel like i'm very much like a metropolitan city girl like i love going to museums and just being in being more of a cityscape like i do love you know um more of the laxed vacation style too but i feel like usually i'm good after like two three days so basically we kind of rerouted because cal and i were talking about okay like where can we go and cal's never been to london or paris properly was able to actually take in-person meetings and do business out here and i was like okay amazing and then i was also able to line something up while i was here worked out really well because initially this was just gonna be like a vacation trip but i'm really glad that we were able to like really really maximize how it is business and pleasure honestly i've lost count of how many times i've been to london at this point but it's just one of my favorite cities and I feel like the more you go to a city, you no longer have to do too many of the touristy things and kind of, you know, explore the city more like local or more relaxed. I feel like with this one, it was still half doing some touristy stuff because I wanted, you know, I feel like when it's your first time here, you have to do some touristy thing. I think it's fun. <laughs> oh, I can't turn this on. No, it's so slippery. These knobs are- She's gonna be stuck with this forever, look. And then you're gonna look in two years and wonder why she never cleared her face off. Can you do it? <laughs> Ew, the face looks going in my mouth. Yeah, that guy. This is a continued diary of me traveling with everything full size. So Necessary came up with a shampoo and a conditioner. So I'm really excited to try these because I love all their body products. This is my blue shampoo that I put in this little travel pouch. Brought my Billy shaver. Now let's shower. You guys, I didn't dry my hair. And they have a Dyson blow dryer at this hotel. This is, I'm so happy. On this way to Farfetch HQ. I didn't have time to do my hair in the morning because this place is 30 minutes out and we wanted to make sure we were a little bit early because we just don't know what the traffic situation is like here. I have no mirror, so I guess I'm gonna try to figure out how to do my hair in the car.
more. Just leaving the Farfetch office. The office was so amazing. It was in a, this part of town called Shoreditch. It was incredible to see the team again. And now we are heading back to the hotel. He has a bunch of meetings today. I'm gonna go and do some work because I feel like I haven't been posting or doing anything. When you see this YouTube video, I haven't posted for I think a couple weeks. I feel like it's kind of hard like when I travel you know, trying to find a balance between like shooting content, uploading, enjoying everything. So I have been getting content, but I haven't uploading. I have been uploading in real time. But today I will get an opportunity to just catch up on all that. We haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I mean, right now it's noon. But we'll just go back and get some food, chill in the hotel, work. It's Monday. Are you ready <laughs> for all your meetings? Of course. I was born ready. These shoes from the Attico from Farfetch and they're so cute. Now well, today I feel like officially it got cold in London. It is windy and gloomy and cold. Thank God we have those two days where it was like really beautiful and even warm at times outside but today we're pretty much staying indoors and working and i'm glad the weather was in our favor but guys just can you feel how cold it is how are you Ooh, so i am trying to upload a 25 minute long my hair care video on hotel wi-fi this is some a plugin that I installed on my computer called Owly. So basically it enables your computer to basically stay on for X amount of hours that you choose. Vacation boys. I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Good morning. Ooh. So I'm getting ready right now to head out for the day. And I have kind of I feel like combination oily skin, but especially if I'm out all day, my skin gets really oily by the end of the day, especially like my T-zone, it's just unbearable. Not unbearable, but kind of unbearable. But this milk primer, the Hydro Primer, like I've seen this for a while and I got it in a gift bag, so I finally tried it. And let me tell you guys, if your makeup runs and your foundation gets oily and it breaks up throughout the day, this has been freaking incredible. Like my makeup looks freaking flawless the entire day. Cause usually by the time when I come home, I look at myself and I'm like, I look like I ran like a mile, but this keeps it in place. And also another trick that I do is cause you know, I also block out my brows. So I make sure to do this primer here and then don't get in your eye, but I do the primer like right here too. So my eyeliner doesn't run, but I just had to give this a shout out the milk hydro primer is incredible also you guys know i love a slick back bun so everything is pretty much slicked back but i love using this from bedhead it is like this smoothing stick so basically use it on and it just slicks your hair all the way the f back you guys i just tried this new hairstyle and i low-key Initially, I didn't know how I felt about it, but I kind of love it. I basically did like two different braids because I have medium length hair and I feel like I need to find ways to style it so I don't get like sick of it and cut it off or anything like that. And I bought like these super long braid extensions from INH hair, but like they don't match my hair color and I didn't have time to color match it before I left. So this is my little pony look that she's growing she's growing so today is our last day in london so basically i have the entire day to myself and i thought about it but this is the first time in like years since i've ever technically traveled alone or explored a city on my own so i'm actually really excited because before like i used to love doing that i love spending time with kellen like i would much rather do that by default but also i'm kind of excited just to spend the day alone because i thought there was a point in time when i was a single girl and i was doing a lot of shit by myself obviously after you get married you do everything with your partner and i feel like that makes things 
more joyful on a different level but also doing things alone is really cool too a lot of eye shopping i get really inspired just by seeing different products going to other inspirational locations went to liberty london which is totally iconic they've created a world for each brand and each section has such life and its own character so i love looking at it like the retail experience here is much different than i feel like in la where kind of you go to a department store and it's just like the brand name and racks i feel like it's quite immersive and it's more of an experience here like I'm like, do I get the Apple headphones? I feel like I've been seeing that everywhere, but I'm also like kind of like a germ freak. So like, I don't want to try on the head sample headphones. I've just literally been like putting it on my hand and trying to like weigh it and see like, hmm, is this heavy or not? If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, make sure to follow me there. It's so much fun. I know I feel like TikTok people either love it or hate it. I personally love it. I feel like there was a lot of friction at first because I was like, why would I want to app? that just has everyone dancing like I that's how I started off using the app because I thought that's what the app was meant for and then I feel like that absolutely started to evolve and I started doing more fashion things more beauty things just fun more fun videos I guess and I feel like everywhere else I feel like I put a lot more thought and curation into it but TikTok I do of course but at the same time it's so fun because it's just in the moment it's raw it's more geared toward Gen Z and I feel like the new social media platform that is TikTok has really evolved a lot from Instagram which I'm native to Instagram first and of course I do YouTube now with you guys um, but Instagram is so you know curated it's so refined which I still love that part of it because I love beautiful artful things and getting creative in that aspect but yeah TikTok is really fun too so make sure to follow me on there and this is why I feel like TikTok is important i think like as a content creator so if any of you guys are content creators i really think that when there is a new platform and people are going there as in consumers users brands like there's a reason why it's going there and i feel like if you are resistant to that change then in some ways you get left behind so i feel like it's always better to get ahead of the curve like stay curious and get on the platform in the beginning i feel like for me i honestly didn't really like the platform like my friends were on it before me and i was like i don't get it i don't get it and looking back now i was like wow if i had more of an open mind mindset and more curiosity i feel like i could have grown faster on the platform i feel like now it's harder just because there's more people on the platform basically the quote from bob Iger, which if you guys are looking for a book to read one of my favorite books i didn't want to finish it as in it was so good i was like milking it i was like down to the last pages and i was like no i don't want this book to be over it's so good i feel like i'm honestly going to reread it but it's bob Iger's right of a lifetime and he has been the ceo of disney for like the past god i think it's like 15 years like really really long i just love hearing his story the way he thinks because i feel like he's so personable and he's so human but at the same time like in a business world when he needs to be he's cutthroat there's so much respect i feel like he's like one of my idols you know when people ask like if you could have dinner with anyone like who could it be like my top three would be him rihanna and oprah anyways but in that book he has this quote that says innovate or die and it shows also how he applied that to disney because i feel like in my mind disney has always been successful because it's like disneyland i grew up watching all the disney classics like little mermaid but they also like divulge into how disney has had to evolve to adapt to modern society and just like how they bought pixar how they bought marvel and just it's amazing incredible long-winded answer don't know how i ended up on bob Iger. okay let's head out guys thank you for listening this is an absolute must for us when we travel we take this every morning after we eat breakfast and it is basically for immunity support while you travel it has a bunch of vitamin c and zinc so i'm just going to take this right now before i head out the sun just came out it was drizzling before so i'm just going to catch this window and head out right now I'm literally walking around Harris right now and it is so big. I literally don't know where I started, where I'm ending, where I'm coming out of. Literally walking into new areas that I feel like I already came to. <laughs> this place is so big. Wow, that dress is freaking divine. Anyways, I'm lost. But can you guys see this entire place? They will not let you leave until you buy something. Okay, I'm ready to leave shoe heaven now, please. Yeah.